Welcome everyone. In this Python tutorial we are going to learn how to use lists to program um, songs and rhymes. Songs and rhymes are a great way to learn programming because they have innate uh, patterns or schemes um, that are used in order to produce the rhyme or the song. So we're going to do a very simple one in this tutorial. We're going to do happy birthday. So for the first iteration we are just going to write the text and we are also going to um, well let's get started. So def main and then we're going to use print happy birthday to you print happy birthday to you and print happy birthday to Jack and print happy birthday to you. So a very simple song and um, that you can sing to a friend. So let's go ahead and run it and we're going to save this and I'm just going to go ahead and save it directly to my desktop while I'm doing this screencast. So I'm just going to say happy birthday underscore my name first version dot py and notice how it doesn't come up I have a blank and the reason that if that happens to you it's because you forgot to make a call to your main function so we will go down here and we need to make sure we call our main function and then we'll run it again and notice how quickly the computer prints out the words so if we wanted to appear more like it's singing to our friend we're going to import the time library and then we can slow the computer down by saying time.sleep and we'll just do one second in between and then I'm just going to go ahead and put this in between each of my lines and we'll run the module again and now the computer is printing it out more like it would be actually speaking to it. Alright, so the problem with this then is that it only will sing to Jack and we want to maybe have it sing to a number of different people. Uh, maybe you're having a birthday party with your friends and there's more than one of you. So now what we can use is we can use um, set up a variable and then pass in a parameter. So instead of Jack, we are going to add a variable called person. And then make sure on either side of this variable you have your plus signs to concatenate it, the person that you're going to sing to, with the normal structure of the sentence. So now what we need to do is we need to um, call this uh, song once for each person. And since we're going to do it repeatedly, let's pull the song out and make a function out of it. So we're going to say def song. And then underneath this, we will take all of this text and put it under our method song. Okay, so now the first time that we call song, we're going to pass in Bla um, Blake, so it'll sing to Blake. Then we'll print a blank line in between each verse. And then the second time we call the song, we'll pass in Zayden as a name, and then we'll print another black line, and then we'll call it one more time, and we'll sing to jo um, Caroline. Okay. Now, since this is our parameter, Blake, and uh, we want to be able to pass this in as person. So what we have to do up here also is that we've got to pass the variable person into our method. 
and then so Blake is now equal to person and person down here will be Blake so when it goes through it'll sing to Blake and then the next time now Zayden is equal to person and then it goes down here and it will sing to Zayden and finally Caroline is now set to person and so person Caroline will be here and the song will sing to Caroline so let's run it and see if we have any mistakes and the first time it sings to Blake as you can see and then to Zayden and finally to Caroline okay so in version 3 then we can continue on and let's see in 3 we want to um, actually get the name from the user instead of hard coding them in here so we are going to create a function called get name so we'll say def get name and then we will say name is equal to raw input and we'll give the prompt enter the name of the person you want to sing to and then we'll give them a colon and an extra space and then once we get the name from them we'll return the name so now the name is available in our main method so the first thing we need to do is to um, get that name so we're going to say person is equal to get name so we're calling the method get name and so it's going to go up here and print out our prompt get the name of the person enter the name of the person you want to sing to it'll return the name and then set that name equal to person so now what we have to do is we have to pass that variable into the song instead of the hard-coded word Blake so we're going to type in person right here and we don't need these other two sentences or two calls to the method song right now so again we're going back to only singing to one person but at least this time we can um, pass that person's name into our method instead of hard coding them so let's run it and make sure it works and now it says enter the name of the person you want to sing to I'll sing to myself and then for some reason it did not enter it all right, let's try running it again. Let's restart the shell. Um, let's check, we're getting the name. It's being returned. We're passing it into song. And now it goes to here and finally there. So let's try running it again, it looks correct. So enter the name you wanna to sing to, Tom. And there we go, happy birthday to me, and we are done. All right, so that is three iterations of the happy birthday song. What we did in the first iteration was to print out the text. What we did in the second version was add the ability to sing to different people. And what we did in the third version is that we added the ability for the user to enter the person that they wanted to sing to and this process of development is called spiral development and it's used a lot in program development where you start with the simplest version and keep adding functionality until the program is the way you want it to um, so we will continue on with a couple of other more difficult versions until we get to adding a number of names to lists and then retrieving those names from the list. So we'll see you next time in part two.